Hello everyone. Welcome to another great video from the Fat Vegan Chef. Today I'm going to be making a really nice creamy and rib sticking soup. Winter is coming and temperatures are cooling in the northern hemisphere and I've been craving pumpkin and warm food. So this soup is going to really hit the spot. Before I start telling you what you'll need to make this, please follow and share me on your favorite social media sites. Just search for the Fat Vegan Chef. Find me? Great. I appreciate that very much. Now let me tell you what tools you'll need to make this dish. The tools that you're going to need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, a knife, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a bowl, a couple of strainers, a mixing spoon, a rubber spatula, can opener, you'll need a food processor or a blender, a stock pot with a lid on it, and an immersion blender or if you want to you can use a regular blender you'll just have to be really careful. The ingredients you're going to need to make this dish are one half cup of raw unsalted cashews. I've soaked these for 20 minutes, rinsed and drained. 1 quarter teaspoon of sea salt, 1 quarter teaspoon of white pepper, 3 15 ounce cans of black beans that I have drained and rinsed, 1 can, that's 16 ounces, of roasted diced tomatoes, 1 quarter cup of a vegan butter like Earth Balance, 1 red onion that I have chopped up, 4 cloves of garlic that's been minced, one teaspoon of sea salt, one half teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper, four cups of one or one container of some vegan vegetable broth, one can of pumpkin, and this is a 15 ounce can, one package of beefy crumbles like Guardian or Beyond Meat. All right, do you have all of your ingredients bought and prepared? Let's go ahead and make this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make our vegan cream. So we're going to take our cashew pieces, our salt, and our white pepper. That's one quarter teaspoon each. And we're going to put in a little bit of water. I'm starting with about half a cup or so. And we're going to puree this up until it's nice and creamy. Now one thing is depending upon how good your food processor is or your blender is you may have to stop and you may have to strain it a few times and then put in the spray strained chunks and then food processor them again you know it should be nice and creamy so I'm going to go ahead and get this pureed up and then when it's done I'll show you what it looks like All right, I have this pretty much blended. So what I'm gonna do is get my cashew cream into this bowl here, and I'll meet you over at the stove. Now that we have the cashew cream all made, let's go ahead and cook. Go ahead and preheat a, your stock pot. We want this on medium to medium high heat. Go ahead and put in your buttery stick, and we're gonna melt this. I have my butter nice and hot. I'm going to go ahead and add in the red onion, four cloves of garlic, the one teaspoon of sea salt, and the half teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. I'm going to let this cook until the onion is translucent, and then we'll move on to the next step. My red onion is nice and translucent. I'm going to go ahead and add in the three cans of black beans, the one can of roasted tomatoes, one can of pumpkin, four cups or one container of vegetable broth, and the cream mixture that we made earlier. I'm going to go ahead and bring this up to a boil, then I'm going to cover it and let it simmer at medium low temperature for 30 minutes. So I will see you 
after this is cooked for 30 minutes. I've let this cook on simmer. Stirred it a few times during that time. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, yes, it's looking really good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to take this stick blender and we're gonna blend this up and make it mostly chunky. You can do this in your blender at home if you want to. You just have to be very careful because we're dealing with hot liquid and you want to do it in very small batches. I would suggest going out and buying a stick blender just for the simple fact that for chores like this, it's a lot less dangerous and less messy and it will make the job a lot quicker as well. So it's worth the money to buy a stick blender. I've talked about this stick blender before. Watch my previous videos when I uh, explain the stick blender and why I have a commercial blender versus a residential blender. So look at my other soup videos uh, for that information. So I'm gonna go ahead and start blending this up until it's nice and mostly chunky. That looks really good right there. Now what we'll do is we'll add our vinyl ingredient, which is the beefy chunks. Stir this in. Now I'm gonna let this cook for another 10 minutes and then I will see you over at the counter again. All right, look at how beautiful the soup turned out. Looks really yummy. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop this into a bowl here for you. Give it a couple of good ladlefuls here. Just like that. I really hope that you uh, make this recipe for your family. It's gonna be perfect for those uh, cold winter nights. You can even make it for Thanksgiving if you want to. And please share this recipe with your friends and family and let them know that you got the recipe at the Fat Vegan Chef. And please consider donating a dollar or two at tfbc.org forward slash donate. I am at all social media sites including Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, that kind of thing. I do share a lot more on my social media, what I'm doing, what I'm eating, that kind of stuff. Please follow me there. And I hope that I see you at my next recipe. Enjoy and thank you for your time.